length is like a line, right, that we measure. So the, the length of this, it could be measured, for example, in meters, okay, from this point to this point. It's one dimensional. Okay. So if I were to take this line and then take it and drop it like this onto itself and then go ahead and fill it in, I get a two dimensional shape, in this case, a square. This is area. Notice that the length of this is m and the length of this is m. And to find the area of the shape, I do m times m which is m squared. So you'll notice that <clears throat> if something is one dimensional, it's to the one power. If it's two dimensional, it's to the second power. And guess what? If we were to take that square, right? That Remember, this square was a meter squared. Okay. And if I were to go ahead and lay it down, and I were to go ahead and consider this like post-it notes almost, right? A sticky note. And I go ahead and put one on top of the other one on top of the other one, on top of the other one, on top of the other one, and pretty soon you'll notice that I'm getting a, a stack of these, right? What's happening is I'm stacking areas, and if I stack areas, I end up getting a volume, okay? I end up getting a three-dimensional shape, so it looks something like this at the end. Remember, this is an M, this is an M, and now the height is also an M. So this is a three-dimensional shape, and a three-dimensional shape is volume. And in this case, you have meter times meter times meter is meter to the third power. Okay, so hint, the exponent of a unit will usually tell you the, the dimension that it is in. Problem nine will be very useful and very important to you. Okay, I would like you to take your time to fill this out. Let me fill out a few of these for you. For example, giga, the abbreviation for that is... Um, a capital G and this is going to be 10 to the ninth power so for example if I have <clears throat> if I have a uh, one giga meter there's actually 10 to the nine meters abbreviation for mega is capital M kilo is uh, if I'm right kilo is going to be actually a little K Centi will be little c, milli will be little m, nano is a little n, micro is a mu. Like the Pokemon. <laughs> mu. So it's 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 like that. That's the, the right way to do a mu. If you don't know how to do a mu, you make a u and you put a little a tail in front of it. Okay. This is the Greek letter mu. You're going to see this a lot in biology. You'll see it when we do a lot of electricity. Okay. Uh, mu is uh, times 10 to the negative 6. Kilo is times 10 to the times 10 to the third power. Mega is times 10 to the 6. You'll notice that these are the big ones, right? We usually have the big ones with capital letters and the small ones with, uh, with uh, smaller letters. Centa is times 10 to the negative 2. Miller is times 10 to the negative 3, and nano is times 10 to the negative 9. This is the same nano that we uh, use as a prefix for nanotechnology and nanocircuitry. Okay. There is a special field of nanoengineering. You engineer tiny little things that are this small. The peacock mantis shrimp. Very colorful fellow. Uh, actually has a very, very, very fast uh, and powerful blow that it uses to uh, capture its prey. Despite being only six inches long, pound for pound, he packs the biggest punch in the natural world. This is the peacock mantis shrimp. The mantis unloads the ace up his sleeve. Hammer claws. His spring-loaded clubs strike 50 times faster than we can blink.
For a moment, the surrounding water reaches the temperature of the surface of the sun. You heard that right. This crab is toast. So it tends to go at 23 meters per second. Let's not write this like this. Get into the good habit of writing it like this, 23 meters per one second. Okay, that's a good habit. People don't suck at math. They don't suck at physics. They just have bad habits. Okay, have good habits. We want to convert this to kilometers per hour. So let me ask you this. Let's start with the kilometers part. How do I make meters into kilometers? How many meters are in a kilometer? Well, let's start off with this. I'm trying to get meter, get rid of meters. So I'm going to put the meter down here. And I want it to become a kilometer, so I'm going to put it on the other side. So whenever we're trying to get rid of something, notice that it's always diagonal, like we did when we did in the other video. Okay. How many meters are in a kilometer? That takes care of the uh, kilometers. Uh, now those are the hours. This is a little tricky. How many seconds are an hour? Let's pretend you're not good at that. Let's first convert it to minutes, if that helps. So seconds is on here, so I'm going to put it up here. It's always diagonal. And minutes. So I have 60 seconds in one minute. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and now convert the minutes into hours. So the minutes on here, I'm going to put the minute up here. And the hour goes on here. So that's 60 minutes in one hour. Yes, you definitely could have also done uh, um, 3,600 seconds in one hour. That conversion would have worked out as well. Okay. Notice the magic that happens now. These meters cancel out with these meters. These seconds cancel out with these seconds. Notice we're not canceling out the numbers, just the units. And these minutes cancel out these minutes. And look what I'm left with. I'm left with a kilometer in the numerator, check, and an hour in the denominator, check. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and actually put this in a calculator. So we have, at the top we have 23 times 60 times 60. I'm putting everything in the, everything up here, right? Everything, everything that's above up here is in the top parentheses. 23, 60, 60. And I'm dividing by everything on the bottom, which is 1 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. And we get 82.8. But you're in physics now. If this is a regular math class, 82.8 is the answer. That's wrong. It's 82.8 kilometers per hour. Very important skill to be able to pull off. You've got to be comfortable doing something like problem 10. Okay? You'll have lots of opportunities to do things like problem 10.